I use the Weight Watcher Blue Plan and I've lost 115 pounds. If you'd like to see what I eat in a day, be sure to watch this video. Hi, my name's Patty. Thanks for checking out my channel, Winning at Weight Loss. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to share with you a day of what I eat on the Weight Watcher Blue Plan. I've been on the plan uh, for a while and I've lost a total of 115 pounds. And I just wanna share with you some of the things I eat for the day. I made a few recipes and I uh, did some working out and you'll see how I spend my day while I'm on the Weight Watcher Blue program. So come on along and share the day with me. Going into Aldi's to get a few things to get at the store. I wanna get some uh, vegetables and a few uh, fruits and some coffee, my favorite stock coffee. I got a really quick Aldi's haul here. I got some chocolate banana granola, which looks interesting. It is 140 calories for a third of a cup, which is probably three points. Some fat-free half and half. I needed some olive oil. Some tomato, basil, and garlic sauce pack of three top sirloin steaks, some bacon, some of this stuff is for the guys, Italian sausage, making some pasta tonight with uh, my marinara sauce, but I got that other one to mix with this, some baking soda, quinoa, Two different flavors. I got a rosemary and olive oil and a garlic and bat basil. Blueberries, some raspberries. I'm gonna mix them together and smash them up with some fat-free, sugar-free jello. Asparagus. Some brown gravy mix ranch seasoning mix and I'm gonna use these real bacon bits I'm gonna try a burger wrap I believe also got two of my favorite stocks coffee two dozen eggs some pretzel sticks a garden salad bag some asparagus raspberries onions, apples, and some brioche buns to make Chick-fil-A sandwiches for the Super Bowl. And these are some cookie thins. They're one point a piece. So that's my small grocery haul that I wanted to run to Aldi's for. I got my groceries put away and now I'm taking a walk get my 10,000 steps in. I'm intermittent fasting, so I haven't eaten yet. I'll eat about one o'clock, so I eat for eight hours between one and nine, and then I'll make some breakfast. Beautiful day here in Florida. It's in the 70s, nice and sunny skies. Nice day for a walk. On this morning, I'm having a five-point breakfast of avocado toast and some iced coffee. I love stock iced coffee, stock or stoke. I like to put in some Premier Protein in it. I use only about a half of the container, so it's only a one-point iced coffee. That's my son stopping by to say hi, because he likes to be on the camera. But I like the, like I said, coffee latte. It's two points for the whole container, but I only use a half of it for each iced coffee I have, and it is so good. Also making an avocado toast, I slice up the avocado 
and I weigh out the portions in grams. I only use 46 grams of the avocado and it's only two points. Then I like to put some everything but the bagel seasoning on the avocado toast. It is so yummy. And I use nature's own butter bread that is only three points for two slices. Next I'm going to make a little snack for later. I'm going to use some raspberries and I mash them up until they're fairly mashed. And then I'm going to add some blueberries to the mix. I only use about a half of that container. And I smash them up a little bit, but not as much as the raspberries because they are a little bit firmer. And then what I do is take a pack of the sugar-free jello mix and I will sprinkle uh, some on the fruit. I use uh, just, this is a large container, so I only use a half of that and I sprinkle it on and then I will mix it up and put it in the refrigerator for later and it makes a really yummy snack. It was such a nice day, I decided to go outside and do some yoga by the pool. I have never really done yoga before, but I'm trying to do it a couple times a week. If I look stupid, pss, sorry. I'm using my iPad and listening to it out there and then doing some yoga moves to get some extra exercise. It's kind of funny watching me do the yoga because I've done it before in a, at the Y, but I have really felt stupid, and here I am doing it on a YouTube video. It's kind of funny. But it's a different way to get exercise in, and it's supposed to be pretty uh, good for stretching out your muscles and relaxing, so we'll see how that works. It's nice to be able to work out side in Florida. This is my pretty new yoga mat I got for Christmas from my daughter. I'm having another iced coffee after yoga. For lunch I'm making a four point burger wrap. This is a recipe for a burger wrap which is four points on all plans and is very yummy. First of all I took the 96-4 ground beef and fried it up in a pan with salt, pepper, and some grill seasoning. And then I added some Montreal steak seasoning. I like that, I just sprinkled it on top. And I added two tablespoons of the GQ's sugar-free ketchup. That ketchup is really good and very low in points. Then I added some mustard. I put two tablespoons of regular mustard. While the meat was still hot, I was going to add some cheese. I chose Trader Joe's light cheddar. It's one slice and it's for two points and I added it to the beef mixture. And you like it hot so it will melt a little bit when you mix it up. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of bacon bits to the mixture. The bacon gives it a nice flavor. And then I'm going to mix it up. Hopefully the cheese will melt a little bit. And then I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce. I just sprinkle some on top, maybe about a teaspoon. Worcestershire sauce is really good in ground beef to flavor it. I'm going to mix it up and I put it in the microwave for about one minute just to melt all the cheese together before I make the wrap. Now I'm using the Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap. Uh, this is the spinach herb season flavored. It's only one point and I'm spooning a fourth of the ground beef mixture into the wrap. I had chopped up some pickles and tomatoes and lettuce for the wraps. I spoon a quarter of the mixture onto the wrap. Add the tomatoes and the pickles and the lettuce to the wrap. You can really add whatever you like, but this is what I'm adding to make it a four point 
burger wrap. I will fold it up or wrap it up and I'll tuck it in and wrap it so it stays together and I also made two of them one for me and one for my husband and I threw it in a pan with some pan spray to brown it up and that's what it looks like four points for a yummy burger wrap Another walk for the night. Sometimes it feels like I spend my day trying to get 10,000 steps. And then there's cooking. Pretty much my day. I got 8,300 steps in so far. So I'll have to finish it out tonight. Dinner tonight is pasta and meatballs. So I'm including the recipe for the meatballs here. This recipe is for a one point bird ball meatballs. I use one pound of ground chicken breast that is 98% fat free and one pound of ground turkey breast that is 99% fat free. I'm going to put them in a bowl and add some breadcrumbs. I will use one half of a cup of breadcrumbs. Next I'm going to add some spices. I'm going to put some salt and pepper and then add some garlic powder. Doesn't really matter and some onion powder. You can use as much or as little as you want or different spices if you'd like. I'm also adding some Italian seasoning just for some extra flavor. Then I will add two eggs to the mixture, trying not to add any shells. And then I'm going to mix the mixture up until everything is combined. Then I'm going to add about a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You can use Romano if you like. I just don't like Romano cheese that much. I will continue to mix the ingredients together until everything is well combined. You'll want to make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees and I'm going to bake them in a muffin pan. The muffin pan I use is made out of silicone. It's good because it doesn't stick. You don't have to spray it and I will put a link to it in the description box below if you're interested. I bake them in a muffin pan because the, you're using uh, the meat that has very low fat so baking them in this pan will help to keep them moist. And I'm going to make a total of 12 meatballs out of this recipe. Each one is one point. And I will bake them in the oven when they're filled at 400 degrees and for 20 minutes. And then when I take them out, as you can see, they're lightly browned and they can be easily removed from the tins. Well, they're not tins, they're silicone muffin pans. And what I'll use them for, I'm going to freeze some and I put them in my uh, pasta sauce that I made, a uh, zero point marinara sauce. And these meatballs are one point a piece and they are very big as you can see. And there they are. This is my dinner for tonight. It's actually eight points for the pasta and meatballs. I use fiber gourmet pasta, but I only ate half, so it was eight points for the pasta and salad and salad dressing. I use zero point marinara sauce, and it was really good. Here's my dessert. I have some of that berry mixture I made earlier. Zero points, yummy.
This is my last food of the day. I have 42 pretzel sticks for four points, an apple with a teaspoon of sugar-free caramel, and a tablespoon of chocolate hummus. And that will finish up my food for the day. And I finished up my 10,000 steps. As you can see, it's my daily goal. So that's a wrap on what I ate a day video for the Weight Watcher Blue Plan. I ate 24 out of the 26 points I'm allowed. So I have a two point carryover. I ate on the intermittent fasting between the hours of one and nine. So that's a eight hour eating window. And then I fast for 16 hours. So I hope you got some uh, good idea of what kind of food I ate today and what I eat to lose my 115 pounds. And I also wanted to add that I do drink my water. I drink a gallon of water a day. I just didn't show that on the video. Check out the description box below for any recipes from this video. And also comment on what recipe you like the best or if you're going to plan on trying anything that I may have shared in this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified of every time I upload a new video. Remember, we're here to eat healthy, get fit, and be well. This is Patty, and I'm winning at weight loss. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!